going further this is not the only way and the option that we can configure and change of some of the settings there is also one one, one of the application that is called compis compis is um, is in a way the application that handles all the graphical interface and all the very famous GNOME or KDE s graphical settings for 3D and for some animations of the icons and windows so let's get to this application I have it installed but this is the same way in the m as my Unity you need to go to Ubuntu Software Center and download it so let's start the second application which you are av available to change all the system settings be aware that some of the changes can broke your Ubuntu Linux but uh, don't don't be afraid I will show you how to do it and not to tweak too, mu too much one of the settings that you can see is the window that is jumping I will show also some other things in the later tutorials so you have the compass configuration center which is divided on some of the settings for the system that uh, that are available as you can see we have the compatibility with the GNOME then we go down to the most in important thing and most interesting ones some of the functionalities and uh, graphical settings are not available for the netbook system which is too slow and too uh, and has too slow performance for the for the system so I won't uh, enable all of them but as you can see you've got the uh, the cube and the cube uh, movement for the system and also we've got the Ubuntu Unity plugin because the whole Unity toolbar is based on the compass settings when we go inside it we've got the same settings as it was in my Unity but in a different way you can configure some of the shortcuts that uh, are available for the system and uh, you can uh, control the unity toolbar by some shortcuts of the, of the keyboard example example is key to show the hud and so some other things you also have the switcher sub window where you can have some some other and uh, additional settings and experimental which is the same as we used for my unity you've got the color setting and the way of working for the for the unity toolbar and then you've got the some of the parameters in in the numbers and also the show desktop icon in the launcher and enable shortcut hints overlay so i will not tell tell everything about those settings you should have some fun with it but don't forget to have this checked in that is enable Ubuntu Unity plugin because you can broke your Unity and Ubuntu installation if you disable this one for now okay let's go back and have a short overview of some other functionalities that are available in the system in the effects tab we've got the animations Wubi windows and so on the Wubi window here is is creating all the things that, that you can see that is movement of the window and also and also changing it to the way like this you can also have some fun with water effect and uh, animations for closing and minimizing the windows going going down we've got some other tools some yacht packs and so on but the most important uh, part of this uh, of this compass config setup in my opinion is also shift switcher 
Shift switcher is a thing that you m you could see in some other YouTube videos when you are available to switch between the windows in a 3D. I will show you in a shot how how it does work. Just give me a second. As you can see, we can switch through the windows that are open. Very simple and in a very well ma manner and very graphically intense and this is this is the part that is responsible for this you just create the shortcut for initiating the uh, the web page switcher and then the next window and the previous window which i have very simple shortcut that is shift a shift d and shift s and then you are able to change the windows in a way that you like also some other settings that are available here is for example negative one so you change the whole structure of the colors on the side that you are or on the window and also a very nice and very funny thing that is magnifiers sometimes used by the tutorials and some of the s professionals from the Ubuntu magnifier gives us the opportunity opportunity to magnify uh, one of the part of the desktop as you can see I created one of one of it by shift M and now I'm just having some fun with the fish eye but it doesn't have to be only fish eye it can also be as you can see fish eye it can also be a normal one that is simple and then it looks like this it's very handy when you create some new tutorials and you want to have very important things magnified and visible so not only the graphical effects and uh, having some fun but also some value added to create a very well and very good tutorials for the for other peoples so in my opinion you should have some experience with it and then you are able to configure the whole settings for the computer and then it will work for you in a way that that you like also you can change the way of visibility of the icons by just left clicking it and moving it in, a w in a, an order that, that you like if you don't like the system monitor you just right click on it and unlock from launcher because I'm in the program it, that it's still I it is still available so let's quit it and now as you can see it is it disappeared also show desktop which are which is available in my unity or compass configuration is also available to disable it I propose for you not to change the dash home home folder the browser that you use and workspace switcher some of the new functionalities are also available by the applications that are installed I installed Cairo which I will show in the next video which gives us possibility to manage all the system settings without the unity toolbar. See you later.